Hey guys, it's Christine, also known as Ivy Winter. Thank you for joining me for another Disney video. So this video was requested quite a while ago, actually, but I wanted to wait until I was down in Disney World to make this because I thought it would be easy to talk through some of this with some visuals of where these things are. And by these things, I mean what I think are the best bathrooms in Disney World. Now I know that sounds like a really weird topic, but I think if you frequent Disney World a lot, it's kind of not. Um, we all have our preferences of where to go, what we think is the cleanest, the quietest, just in general the best experience. Some people like certain bathrooms for their theming. But obviously I'm an expert in all things bathrooms. We joke about this a lot in my vlogs. I'm always saying like, oh, hey, Disney, there's a bathroom, that's great. It is no secret on this channel that I have IBS. I've had it for about seven years now. Um, and so it is no secret that my brain is just like, I just have all the bathrooms in Disney memorized, basically. Um, but I think that this is a great topic for people who either might have a GI issue or not. I mean, there's definitely better options and worse options for the bathrooms at Disney. And a lot of this has to do with the traffic, the flow of traffic of people through certain areas. And naturally the high traffic areas are gonna be more crowded, maybe even a little dirtier because you know there's so many people coming through and only so many cast members coming through to clean. Um, and when I say dirty, I mean, I've had maybe one or two bad experiences in Disney bathrooms. Basically, you know, if I compare a bathroom to um, a bathroom in Penn Station, which I've been to many, many times in my life, like Disney's gonna win every time, you know? Okay, we're gonna start with Magic Kingdom. And the first bathroom is not even in the park. It is the bathroom that is near the bus depot or bus stops at the Magic Kingdom. When you walk off the buses or you're walking to the buses, there is a building. It's kind of between the buses and where you see the ferry come in that path. Um, it's a little bit further down. I think that there is that first section of buses first and then you'd have to like walk a little further back. Um, and it is a standalone building out there that has bathrooms and they're almost always quiet. Um, people tend to only pop into them going to or from the buses and even then I think a lot of people don't, they don't even like realize it's there or they wanna wait until they get in the park. They're like, oh, let me go through the turnstiles and do that whole thing and then we'll go to the bathroom. It tends to be really quiet there, it tends to be a lot cleaner um, and I mean, I love it because I get a little anxious sometimes with the transportation and so I don't have to wait to go through security and go through that whole process if I'm not feeling well, it's right there. So that is my first favorite one in the Magic Kingdom area. It's technically not in the Magic Kingdom, but it's right outside. The second one is also technically not in the Magic Kingdom. Um, and it is the bathroom that's by like guest services. I think I want to say stroller rentals are over there too. Um, I wouldn't know. I don't have kids yet. So I mean, I think so, but it's to the right of the turnstiles. Um, and again, another bathroom that tends to be quieter. Um, you're only gonna see it really busy when the park is like letting out for the day or like, you know, right after fireworks, a bunch of people are leaving, right at closing, a bunch of people are leaving. You'll see more people there. But I would say 90% of the day, that bathroom is super quiet. It's kind of hidden off into the back. Um, and again, really clean. Um, also because it's directly connected to where a lot of cast members are. So they pretty regularly have someone in there cleaning. Now, my next one is in the park and is probably my favorite of all the ones in the park. And it is the one by Pirates of the Caribbean. It is next door to the shop that you come out of. Now, definitely more frequented than the other two that I just mentioned, but tends to be really clean, tends to have less people overall because it's a more out of the way bathroom. So whereas, you know, when you walk past Fantasyland, you see the really cool Rapunzel bathroom, which everyone laughs about because the tower is literally a bathroom. It is the coolest area. And then you're like, oh, this is a bathroom, not anything special. Um, that one is packed, right? Cause like one, it's just a really cool area. Two, it's right on the main path between lands, right? Um, another one that's usually pretty busy is when you're going through like that little indoor tunnel area that comes from like, 
Adventureland to Liberty Square, right? Because people, again, are, there's a lot of traffic flow through there, but your bathrooms that are a little bit better tend to be the ones that are a little like off, and Pirates is one of those. Technically, yeah, you walk from Adventureland to Frontierland and it's there, um, but you kind of have to know to go in that direction and go down that little like hall area and go into the bathroom there. So um, I would say that's the best one in the parks. A lot of the other ones tend to be super busy. I, I would say my, my runner up is probably the one by Space Mountain. While it's obviously really frequented because a lot of people go to Space Mountain, it's pretty big. So um, I feel like it kind of wins out in terms of size. And so I've never, I don't think I've ever really gone into that bathroom and waited on a line. I can't remember the last time I have, even on busy days, because um, it, it just has so many stalls, at least on the women's side, I assume the men's is similar. So that's kind of my runner up for Magic Kingdom, but otherwise those are the three that I really think are best. Moving on to Epcot, um, again, we're gonna start with one that's technically not in the park because those are the ones that are quietest. And it is the one that is actually right at the exit of Epcot, or if you're coming in from the buses, um, you can stop at it before you keep going towards security. So um, if you're at the turnstiles and you kind of looked to your right and you saw that exit gate to get out, um, it's just past the exit gate. And it's also obviously when you're coming in. So again, if you can um, use it on your way in or use it on your way out, it's definitely one of the quietest ones because most people have already like used the bathroom in the park. I think a lot of people don't realize that there are bathrooms just outside the park. Um, you know, locals obviously do, people who go a lot probably know about them, but like regular vacationers assume that their last bathroom is like the last one before they leave the park and then, you know, oh, I gotta get back to my hotel to go which is not true. So, so a lot of people don't end up actually using those bathrooms because in their head they're like, well, I just, I have to go to the last one that's like in Future World before we get out. So take advantage of that, um, especially coming and going. My next one would be the bathrooms um, in the Odyssey building, but also the ones just outside of it are not too bad as well. Um, it, that might change now with the middle of Epcot closing, um, so people won't be able to cut through the middle by the fountain anymore. You might find that that bathroom is going to be more crowded, um, but it always seemed to be doable because a lot of people would go straight through past Spaceship Earth, past Fountain of Nations, and not cut this way. Um, so I always found that those bathrooms, both of them, the ones inside the building and outside, are always a little bit quieter, a little bit better. I also want to point out that the worst bathroom in Epcot is the one inside the France Bakery because it, there's like two of them and they're single stall. It's just like singular bathrooms. Um, and because it's like an open sit down restaurant, like a little quick service thing, you can get your baguettes and whatever, um, it can get really long lines. It's not the same as like being in a sit down restaurant. Um, so I would not recommend those bathrooms at all. I feel like I have the worst experience because they are single bathrooms, which I guess if you want that sort of privacy, then go there. But I feel like there's always a long line. Um, you're better off just going to a bathroom with a bunch of stalls. Hollywood Studios, I got one. <laughs> um, again, the one outside of the park is great, but um, the only one inside the park that I find is like not too crazy and still fairly true even with Galaxy's Edge being open is the one by Muppet Vision 3D. Um, that one has always been quiet. It's a little more busy now with um, Galaxy's Edge, but not quite. Actually, it's really funny. If you pass that bathroom, the next one is kind of dead ahead of you. And I find that one's way more crowded. I think because it's like at the nexus of like three different paths. So that one's insane. I've walked up to that one before, seen the line out the door and been like, nope, I will walk to the next one. Um, that one has been pretty, pretty crazy. The only other one that I actually haven't seen be too bad, even though it's in a main hub area, is the bathroom that is off the stage um, and off the Chinese theater to the left. So it's before you go to ABC Commissary, um, before you like turn that corner, there's a bathroom there. When I need to do number two, this is my number one choice. <laughs> 
again, it's weird because it is kind of in a main throughway, like, but I never see too, too many people there. So I feel like if that would be my other one, that's going to be my second one. Lastly, Animal Kingdom. Um, I think the best one in the park is the one that is just beyond the Nemo show, as long as it's not letting out. So if you, if you can get to that bathroom when the show is running, which is probably you're probably more likely to than not because that show is like 45 minutes. So I would take your chances. Um, it is it is by that building um, and it is so, so quiet. People don't even know that that bathroom is there. It is usually quite, quite empty. So that would be my number one. My number two, surprisingly, is also on a main path, but I don't think that people see it often is if you walk to your left from the tree of life you pass starbucks and you're heading towards africa there is a bathroom to your left again like you'd have to turn it's across from the otter area um and that one again i i remember in animal kingdom i spent the whole day there i'm pretty sure i went to that bathroom like three times within that day and walked in every single time um and this was a very crowded day especially morning and afternoon it was super crowded walked right in. Weird, because it's right near Starbucks. You would think it would be busier, but not really. It kind of gives me that pirate's bathroom vibe where you have to kind of walk down a bit to get to it. Um, ends up not being that busy at all. I, as somebody who deals with stomach issues, am always so grateful that Disney has literally built these things in every like 20 feet. I mean, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but there are a lot of bathrooms in all of the parks. So, my whole thing is if you get to one and it's really busy and you see a line, take your chance and walk to another one. Um, because usually that other one is going to be less than a two or three minute walk away and you might have better luck there. So don't resign yourself to a line out the door if the next one is not too far. Um, you can find all the information of where bathrooms are on the app. You can get a map when you walk in. Um, what I like about the app is you can filter by bathrooms. So if that's all you want to look at on the map, it'll be easier to kind of find. Um, and yeah, I know it sounds like a weird topic, but I'm kind of glad it was asked and requested because I think it's actually kind of an important one to a lot of people. Um, and not just people like me, but people who have kids and need a quiet space to change them or you know run them to the bathroom or whatever it might be. Um, I think it's a thing that a lot of us think about, but we don't talk about a lot. So I'm glad I was able to make this video. I'd like to know in the comments below, what's your favorite bathroom in Disney World? And have you ever had like a negative experience? Have you ever walked in and been like, whoa, it is super dirty or crazy or whatever? You can also let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, then like it. If you like me, you should subscribe. I make videos every single week. Um, lots to come this year in 2020. And I appreciate all the new subscribers I'm seeing. Of course, all the old subscribers who have stuck with me. Um, yeah, good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great rest of the day. Bye.